collab garage when we deliver the car sometimes our customers aren't here to, to get the walkthrough so that's what the purpose of this video is uh, this car is equipped with a uh, boost logic twin turbo kit with the 3582 stock engine and one of our built transmissions so uh, the first thing that we do is locate the MoTeC data connectors in the engine bay underneath the oil cover so to, if you ever need to pull logs or you're out running around and we ask you we need to pull a log they're located under here we made two little brackets so it's important to remember the passenger side this one is the master the driver side is considered the slave so this car operates as if it's on two separate five-cylinder engines with two separate ECUs so if we ever ask you to plug in pull log or do anything we're asking you to plug into the master on the passenger side Okay, moving into the interior, so this is where you're going to make all of your map adjustments and being able to see your ethanol content and the rolling analyte function. So I'll start off with how to see what your ethanol content is. Uh, it's the exhaust button. So if you press this button, while you hold it, it goes up on the tack as to what the ethanol percentage is. So right now this car is reading E69. Also, when you're driving down the road, I won't be able to demonstrate this for you right now. If you want to use the rolling analog function, which is really not necessary on this size turbo of car, while you're rolling down the road, you have to press this button and floor the accelerator. You can't ro uh, roll into it. You need to jab it. And then it's going to start building boost. You're going to hear it kind of misfire. And as soon as you let go of the button, it's going to take off. Again, with the 3582 turbocharger, you really don't need to use it and it's just hard on components but if you want to use it that's how you do it finally how to change the maps on the car so this is our standard configuration that Rob Toon does for us to to get into which map you have you're gonna press and hold the set button on the cruise control you'll see right now we are in map 7 to change it you have to press that and while it's in that mode you're gonna press up or down so I'm going down in maps all the way down to map zero. Map zero is your valet mode. It has a 400 horsepower and 3500 RPM rev limit. So if you want to leave this and valet it somewhere, you put it down into map zero, rest assured, as long as they don't know how the car works, they won't be able to have fun without you knowing. So to, and then progressively, the power goes up from there. So you'll press and hold and just scale all the way up. Map nine is the top map. And in this particular build, that is 1300 horsepower for this customer. And the, the power goes down progressively all the way down to one, which is the wastegate spring, which is, I don't know, roughly 800 horsepower. All right, and lastly, this car is equipped with a Colab Garage fire suppression system. That's uh, it's very simple. This is your activation button that's on the side of the steering column. There's really not a lot of places to put this on the R8. So this is the best place for it. Now, right now, I'm, I'm not sure if the system is armed or not, so I'm not gonna hit the button. When you wanna test the system, what you're gonna do is open the trunk. The box on this vehicle is located here. You can test it to make sure the battery's good by clicking down as long as that lights up you have battery and when you're in the up position that's armed so when you want to go out and drive the car if you want the fire suppression to work it has to be in the system arm position if you want to test it you put it in the middle and just stay here with the camera when you when you press the button on the steering column that's going to light up green that's how you test the fire suppression um, it's one of those things if you leave it on all the time it'll probably last for a while with the battery but if you're not going to drive the car for a while you're going to want to put it back in the center mode so obviously if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us at the shop or through email